Hi everybody, I'm Danielle Jameson and welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be giving you my one a month update on my librette piercing. Just before I get into this video I just want to say that if you guys want to learn more about how I'd rate the pain, the, uh, the price, where I got it done and all of that kind of stuff, I did already do a video all about that kind of stuff on my librette piercing. This is just a quick update what's been going on the last month since I last spoke about my piercing with you guys. The link to that will be in the description box down below for those of you who want to go and check that out. I've had no issues with it. The last time I got lip piercings I got snake bites um, and I had to take them out. I did love my snake bite piercings but they just weren't healing for me and on top of that I was trying to get myself a job and I felt like I had to take them out in order to have any chance of getting a job. But when I took my snake bites out I really really missed some kind of lip piercing. I have my Medusa obviously, I've had that for a little while now, um, but I was missing something on my bottom lip so I got my labrette done. Kind of similar to the tongue piercing in terms of you might need to drink out of a straw if your lip swells up quite bad. I was lucky because my lip this time didn't swell very much at all for this piercing. It was swelled but it didn't swell nowhere near as much as what it did when I got my snake bites done or when I had my vertical labrette done. It's not fully healed, you can tell it's still not fully healed and I will say that I do need to go back to my piercing studio and get a downsize for the bar but that will be done sometime soon because I know that if you don't get a downsize you have a higher chance of like eroding your teeth away if you know what I'm saying. In terms of swelling, like I said, it didn't swallow very much and since it's since I had it done, it's actually not been that painful. Nowhere near as painful as what my vertical labrette was when it was healing and nowhere near as painful as what my snake bites were when they were healing as well. Uh, or trying to heal because like I said they never actually healed. I kind of feel like so far I've been very very lucky with this piercing. A little bit of pus comes out from time to time and obviously you know you just kind of get a cloth, wash your hands, get a cloth and carefully kind of wipe it away. Um, I'm still getting a little bit of pus coming out from time to time every now and again. I am cleaning the piercing twice a day with salt water solution on the morning and I, on a night before I go to sleep. Obviously with piercings it's really important to clean them but you don't want to over clean them and I feel like if I clean it three times a day that's a little bit too much and it will irritate it. But apart from that it's been a pretty problem free piercing. Uh, I'm very very happy with it. I'm so obsessed with central piercings. So obviously I have the labrette now, I have the medusa, I have my tongue pierced which we got it in the center of my tongue, I have the septum, I really do like the look of those. So I love the look of it, I love where the placement is and I love the ball that I chose to get pierced with. It's just absolutely stunning and I'm really glad I paid that little bit extra just to get this ball on the end. In terms of pain, I'm not in any pain with it whatsoever anymore. It just gets a little bit irritated sometimes. Obviously if you guys want to know any more information about the labrette piercing or any other piercing, go down to the studio where you want to go and get it done. They'll be really really happy to help you out with any concerns, um, any questions you might have or anything like that. I'm hoping within the next month it will be fully healed but I know what lip piercings are like. The top lip doesn't move as much as the bottom lip when you speak. I think it's gonna help a lot when I go and get the bar downsized because um, obviously with the longer bar it's kind of rubbing and moving around a lot more than what the piercing would in the smaller bar so I'm hoping all of that slight irritation is going to stop and that's hopefully going to help with the pus situation as well. I had no issues eating, no issues speaking, it's not like my tongue piercing where you know you've got to cut things out your diet or whatever and as long as you clean it you should be fine. So at the minute this is what it looks like as kind of like a close up ice cream, ice lollies really really help with swelling. Uh, holding an ice cube in your mouth is also the same, it really helps with the swelling. Make sure that you have really good dental health, so make sure that you're brushing your teeth as you should be. In terms of what piercings I want to get next, I'm not sure, I'm debating between a few different ones. But I want to get the other side of my nose done at some point just so my nose looks equal and not like 
something on this side but like nothing on that side it kind of irritates me a little bit i'm considering the bridge piercing because that is also like a central piercing i'm still debating my cheeks but yeah thank you so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed this little update if you did make sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you're new here make sure to click on that subscribe button thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video see you later